What's up? Uh, welcome to kind of a experimental thing. So we've been talking a lot about commentary on Twitter. A bunch of us have. And uh, James and I have on the Ultra Chen Tuesday show as well. And somebody, a couple of people actually, brought up the idea of critiquing commentary. And, uh, you know, sort of using that critique to, I don't know, say how I think about commentary and, you know, how I, how I look at myself. I, I always go back or listen to myself. How, I always go back and I, and I listen to my own commentary to identify things that I think are good or things that I think are bad. And I try to improve, you know, based on that. So uh, what I'm going to do in this video is basically that process except for on a mic. So I'm going to let the video play and then I'm going to pause it whenever I have something to say, and, uh, you know, I'll talk about it. But the point is to listen to the commentary. So I'm not going to be commentating mostly on the players. This is a match from SoCal Regionals, Filipino Man versus Xiao Hai. It's a good match, uh, but I'm not going to be commentating on on that in this review, okay? This is going to be purely uh, commentary on commentary. All right, all right, all right. Let's get going. So Bonchan has made it into Grand Finals. Kazunoko is now in Losers Finals, and we have to see who he's going to play against next. It's going to be one of these two gentlemen, Filipino Man or Xiao Hai. Yeah, that was a pretty good intro. So it's going to be Evil Ryu for Xiao Hai, Filipino Man. No surprise, going with Rose. He does tend to play pretty well against uh, these matchups. You know, he he has enough mobility. He has counter fireball tools. He can, the, the mobility I mentioned, because he can be in and out of that Ryu stand, uh, crouch medium kick range. Yeah. So that was a little bit of a monologue there, and I feel like it went on too long. Uh, I, I stutter a lot. Um, I don't know if that comes through on commentary, but like in real life, I do it a lot. And sometimes on commentary, I notice that it's almost like it goes away because I feel like I'm, I don't know, it's almost like I'm playing some other character that doesn't stutter. It's weird. And so I don't stutter as often. But I did there. And I also thought that I used the same intonation too often. It's the same, like, musicality. I don't know any of these words. Like, I don't know, like, real words to critique this stuff. But, like, listen to it. It'll, it'll end the same way. Each of those sentences, like, the musicality of it. Going with Rose. He does tend to play pretty well against uh, these matchups. You know, he, he has enough mobility. He has counter fireball tools. He can... The, the mobility I mentioned because... Enough mobility. Enough counter fireball tools. Come on. He can be in and out of that Ryu stand, uh, crouch medium kick range. Just yeah. like that, dashing right. forward and getting the throw. You know, he has EX drill to get through this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Again? Come on, buddy. Mix it up. Okay, just playing cautious. Oh, wow, that was so good. Yeah, I was surprised that the, the close medium kick triggered. That, that was pretty far away. That's somebody who knows his character. Oh, there's... So, okay, well, I guess I should... I should probably just go back, but um, I like how at the end of that I said that's somebody who knows his character. So it, that is to say, it's a statement. It's not like a question. That's somebody who knows his character. It's a statement, which is important because the rest of that, like my commentary so far, I feel like has been questions. Like that's the sound of them. So anyway, let's back up slightly because I guess we're just about to yell. Close medium kick trigger. That, that was pretty far away. That's somebody who knows his character. Oh, oh there's a fireball coming out. Yes, drill. Oh yeah, smart. Ooh, missed. He should have did a quick rise and he did not. Oh wait, but he got hit by the ultra, so he couldn't have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. That happens. You know, it, it's hard. It's hard to always be on top of exactly what the process was and exactly you know what the sequence of events was. It's something that people watching get, uh, you know, kind of uh, annoyed about, which I understand. But it, uh, it is. It's hard to always be on top of that. And you know, of course, this is midway through this top eight and uh, we've done a billion in top eight so it's it does it does happen you know what, what i'm referring to is the fact that james missed that it was ultra so he you know show i couldn't do the quick stand that, that kind of thing you want to get rid of to whatever degree you can but it's not it's it's sort of like i feel like you have to just accept that it's going to happen sometimes you know it's hard to be perfect so anyway let's move on but there you go filipino man taking round one Ooh, the damage. Just like that, Rose down about two-fifths of life, one-third 
Two fifths. Ooh, good confirm on that. A little extra juggle there. Okay. See where well, all I added was okay to all of that, which could be better. There he goes. Yeah, it wants to get out of the... Again, that was not much of an addition from me. Uh, you know, it's it's good, I think, to sometimes let the action just happen. I don't think that we need to be talking all the time. But I think that oftentimes it's better to, to add things. It's Again, not all the time. I, I do like letting things rock. But uh, that's, I think, in, like, particular circumstances. You know, it, it shouldn't be, like, I shouldn't just let, like, 20 seconds go by adding whatever trivialities. So, all right, all right. The corner. Oh, really? Ooh. That was funky. And when you switch sides, when you block it, it sucks you in because it still remembers which side it originated on. Oh, here we go. Oh, he drops it. That's oh. a huge drop. Filipino man, the drop as well. Filipino man has cornered himself now. I love that block by Xiao Hai. Oh! Oh, and the super is that enough? It is enough. Even Filipino man almost kind of looked like he was like, please be enough, please be enough. And when it killed, you could almost kind of see a, a little bit of relief on his face. And there it is, Filipino man taking game one over Xiao Hai. And that was all from that Xiao Hai drop. I think he would have killed had that combo connected. Even apart from that, I feel like he's starting to catch on to some of... Filipino man's tricks. I love that he blocked that close medium mm. the second time he went for it. That was great. So I, I waited. For, I remember this. I, I waited to make that point for like 20 seconds because at the end of the previous round, that came up and I was like, oh, I love the block, but I didn't say what it was. It was that I liked that the first time Filipino man walked into that range, he pressed medium kick and it worked. And uh, this time it did not. And I held on to that, which was, I think, I think that was the wrong thing to hold on to. Um, I, I think part of it was because I I knew in the moment that I didn't contribute almost anything to that previous round. Like, I mean, we, you know, when things got hype, it was like I was yelling fine. But as far as analysis, I don't think I really contributed that much. So I think that I was, like, thinking, you know, I should probably talk. I should probably, like, point something out. And, and I think that that's a good thing to point out. But, like, you don't need to be talking about it 11 seconds into the next round. You know, unless it, like, maybe wait for it to come up again if it ever does. But it doesn't, like, the things have happened in this round. And instead, I've been talking about something from previous rounds. So it's important in fighting game commentary to to know when to let things go and know when to not finish your thoughts because it, there's just too much going on. You know, it's it's a, a fast-paced thing. Even a game like Street Fighter Four, which is not as fast as, like, Marvel or, you know, Blaze Blue or whatever, it's still, there's still a lot going on. And you have to know, you know, when the current action is more important than the stuff you wanted to talk about from last round. So, could have done that better. All right, let's move on. Good nice. timing on it. Ooh, that wasn't even a true combo, 5-8 combo, but that's better for him. Less damage scaling. Oh, here we go, Crumple. I really like Shahi letting that go. Filipino man has not been respecting that option. Mm -hmm. So, I like, I think that was good, right? Um... Uh, I could have talked about that before, uh, that Filipino man had not been, you know, respecting the possibility of, of focus, uh, which is something that Rose is sort of susceptible to. Like, obviously, if it's crouching strong drill, then she's not. But uh, he has been using medium kick in that range. So uh, I think that, that was a good thing to point out. And, I, and I'm glad that I said it succinctly because there's sometimes when I drag on a little bit. So, uh, all right, all right, all right. Oh, nice! <laughs> All right, what's this mix-up? Stay on the ground or yes? Oh, this guy! That was it. <laughs> oh man, go, come, come on! This guy could have done a little bit more there. And it's not like I need to be going nuts. Like it's, I'm not, I'm not trying to like make it fake hype or anything, but. Uh, why would I say this? Like, what does that mean? You know, I'm not adding analysis, and, I, and I'm barely adding, like, hype, I think. Uh, so that could have been improved. All right, let's move on. Yeah, last time he went for the uppercut, so uh, it's a good choice. Mix it up a little bit. This is the one we've been waiting for. Big 
So many of these rounds, I feel like they've all been Shao Hai and somehow Filipino man has just snuck out, has stolen some of these rounds. Ooh, okay, that's perfectly fine trade. You know what I think was happening here? I haven't talked for like half a minute. Um, so I've started taking my tablet to tournaments and I'll set it up before we commentate. Uh, and, you know, I have a little uh, Wi-Fi hotspot and I'll plug it in. And it'll just be there, and I, and I have it mostly because I want to check. I want the ability to check brackets if they're being updated online, and I also want the ability to check frame data, and I want the ability to check Twitter, because oftentimes people give us good info. You know, it's hard to know everything, and so sometimes, which comes up later actually, when Filipino man did uh, ultra and couldn't do super to kill because he still had ultra spinning around. I didn't. I didn't know that he could not do super when he had ultra out. Or maybe I did and I forgot. I, I don't even know. But I found out from Twitter. So I want the ability to check Twitter. But at the same time, sometimes I fall into checking it too much. So I wonder if that's what was going on here. Like, I don't remember the specific time here. But, you know, it's been, it's been I feel like, the last couple rounds where, or at least two out of the last three, where I feel like I haven't added that much. And I wonder if that's the reason. So that's something I'll think about for the future. Yeah, I feel like both, the, both parties are okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> But here we go, Filipino man now on that bar. Very easy to hit, confirm, soul spiral into super, but also just gives Rose so many Wait, options, so nice. I wonder why he went for grab, that was so far away. Oh, okay, not thrown into the corner. Oh, he, he faked for ultra two setup, is he gonna do it this time? Yes. Anything from Shaohai. Oh, good oh, counter stuff. jab, yeah, FADC, but two jabs to start that combo, so not a lot of damage. Oh, gets the bait. Hop kick into EX Shoryu. Uh, I'm sorry, Tatsu. It's hard to be excited all the time, and it's also, it's, it's hard to talk all the time. So it's good that James and I have a pairing. Well, it's just, it's good to have a pairing, who, you know, regardless of who, who it is. But, you know, he and I have done it enough uh, together that we know more or less when he's going to talk. So I remember that in that situation that I, I just I got the feeling that like he wanted to talk like we'll look at each other sometimes and it's like pretty clear which one is like I'm gonna I'm gonna talk you know so I think that was one of those times so I like I'm not mad at myself for not having talked there in fact I would rather not talk over my my co-commentator like that's important to not talk over the uh the other person so it's you know keeping keeping quiet sometimes I think is a virtue so I think I did that all right at the end of that round all right all right and that was a stand tech that Filipino man brought out there. He was like, he's looking for a more delayed uh, counter hit setup. Oh, so. so again, I, I fall into the trap of talking about stuff that happened from, from the previous round. It's it's important to, I think, to talk about stuff, but um, you know, it's. I feel like I've done that. I, well, I have done that a couple of times already in just the first two round or first three rounds, which is which is too many. It's too many. Um, I I want to get info in there, you know. Like I really want to get analysis in there because that's what I like the most. But uh, I just I have to be better at recognizing like when it's time to to move on. I think I think I do move on because there's some there's like you know he did a super so like it's time to move on right. Did I did I do that? Let's see. Here super is. yeah. This is just kind of that discouragement start. You have all your life. You just trained him a bunch down, willing to spend your meter early on. Yeah, well, it's Rose. She's already got a bar back, so it's all right. Yeah, cool. So we just totally moved on from that previous point, which is which is good. And you saw right there, Shao is just going for that trade Woo! every time. And the Filipino man with the standard Filipino man. And he's still getting quite a bit of the crowd back there. Yeah, so, um, again, I, I made a noise, right? I was like, woo! Which is cool, but then I again I realized, hey, James wants to talk, so you know what, man, finish it up. Like that's it was on you, and he did a good job with it. So it's that's that's good, that's good. Teamwork, yay! Now that sort of makes sense. Here we are in Southern California. Filipino man is from Southern mm -hmm. California. Even if you're not from SoCal, he's the only American left. Yep, in this exactly. top four. I thought that was well said. Uh, I I did like that. I so I didn't stutter. That was cool. Yay. And I also mixed up, like, how it sounds, like, the musicality of it. I really got to learn some terms. You know what I should do is, like, I don't want to study singing because, oh, man, no way. Just basically no way. But uh, <laughs> I have to, like, learn how to talk about this stuff better. I think that's, 
I think that's actually an important uh, lesson from having this commentary on commentary that I realized just now that I have to I have to know how to talk about things. That's always super helpful, right? Like in fighting games, I really feel that like the gradual accumulation of of uh, words just to describe things has been helpful. Everybody talks about option selects, right? So so you you know that it's a concept. It's like a defined concept to look for. But back in the day, it wasn't. And even if there were some situations that were option selects, like Vega doing wall dive into slash or into grab, it was the same button, right? It's option select. But you didn't think about it like that. And so you didn't think to look for other situations like that. So just having that lingo is, is useful, I feel. It's like useful tech almost. Uh, and I feel like it would be the same thing for commentary. Boink. Oh, no. Oh, that oh, was what? probably a fireball. Oh, you're probably right, yeah. Hey, see what I mean about Filipino man backdashing, but then here he is all of a sudden? Right. So I thought that was a good situation where I just sort of let it let the, the play go because there was enough going on and you didn't really need me talking about it all the time. But then when I had seen it for a little bit, you know, I brought up a point, which uh, I thought was relevant. So that's that's cool. Good stuff. All right. There we go. Good damage. Into the corner. And this is just a way to get Shao Hai to block. It's a way to take control of the situation by Filipino man. Oh, and he gets the throw! Wow. Shao Hai may be so scared of that close forward kick, yeah. which blows up crouch text and throat stand text. That's right. That's right. Match point now for Filipino Man. He could do this 3-0 against one of the strongest players in the world. Oh, oh great backdash and punish there. He went with the EX soul spiral instead of spiral in the super because he wanted to make sure it connected at that range. I really love that Filipino Man is doing that crouching strong into fireball sometimes. The dragon punches that are coming from Shao Hai are to beat drills. Right. Mm -hmm. So both of us just did a little bit of an explanation of of couple things, but it took too long. And in the meantime, you know, Rose has lost forty five percent life, and Evil Ryu's lost thirty five percent life, and they've been moving around, and there's been stuff. Um, so I feel like maybe that that lasted a little bit too long. It, you know what? It's 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 hard to always be succinct, but it is something to work out. And so Filipino Man has the counter to that. Oh, boy. Oh, that could have been it. Xiao Hai really needs to make the situation count. Unfortunately, he's he's sort of caught here. He's got to wait it out a little bit. Oh, nice. no. Nice. Gets in with the throw. Ghost Burn again. Still has the orbs. Oh, God. Those are so dangerous. Yeah, okay. So Xiao Hai did wait oh, out most of it. Now he's got the life lead. Maybe positional stuff. He's really fighting for it. Oh, here we go. Okay. That's to do it. Good stuff. Xiao Hai confirming. FADC off of the fireball, getting the full combo. So James did that better than me. He, I, I said good stuff, which is as vapid as it comes. What does that mean? That doesn't mean. What am I talking about? Like you, like maybe via context, you have an idea that I'm talking about, whatever. But um, what I should have done was was what James did, which was just a couple of seconds of this is what I liked. You know, here's an explanation of what I liked. Something that. I, I have tried to get out of my commentary. Not, I, you know, obviously, there you go. Not 100%. But some, certainly something that I've been working on is uh, to not say things like nice and good stuff or nice throw or you know, stuff like that. Like, that doesn't add anything. Why is it nice? What, what is nice about the throw? You know, was it the timing of it? Was it that he, he bullied his way in and got it? Was it the setup to a counter hit? What was nice about it? Just saying that it was nice, I don't think is very useful. So uh, that's that's something that I would like to get rid of entirely in my commentary. I, again, it's probably one of those situations where it's it's hard to get rid of it 100% because it's just it's hard to think and talk fast enough, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. Making sure to stand Rose up with that low fears. Oh, nice. She has her own way through. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, Filipino man, a little bit more liberal usage of his meter. He's Again, he's already built a meter back. Right. Okay. A little too far for more than that. 
but that's the best he's going to get from that range. And I'm surprised no low forward fireball from Xiao Hai in that situation. Would have been a lot more damage. Oh, and look boy. at that. Rose this... already back at a full meter. But okay. here he goes. Great response by Xiao Hai. I was just about to say he's on the ropes. If Filipino man gets a hit, could be for super and the match. Oh, okay. Well, he's safe. Just gets him out of that situation. That's why Filipino man did it. Oh, oh great well. counter with that low short from Xiao Hai. The crouch tech that he turned into the game. So that was cool. Um, I'm not sure it was all entirely accurate, but I liked that. So James James was carrying it really well, right? He was saying stuff. It was good. sounded good um, in the voice and also the content of it. I thought it was good. And then I was like, all right, like now I'm going to talk. And James recognized that I wanted to, and he stopped talking. And then we sort of had this little back and forth that I thought was cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. Beautiful stuff from Xiao Hai. Well, it might have been worthwhile to paint the picture a little bit there. And, it, it you know, I I'm not, I don't remember this, but, again, this might have been a situation where I might have been looking at Twitter or something, um, maybe looking at that a little bit too much. Alternatively, I might have not wanted to get into some sentence that would have taken like carried me too far into this round i, I don't remember but it, it could have been one of those things um that said again i i think that, that would it would have been ideal to have had a little bit of a, a picture painting there because you know i mean the only socal player left is like up 2-1 he almost just beat uh one of the best players in the world in Shao Hai, and he's all the way here from china you know so it, there's a lot of stuff to talk about there and now that i'm critiquing myself i feel like i have all the time in the world to <laughs> to talk right because that's what i'm doing right now i don't even know how long this video is gonna go doesn't matter but in that in that moment at socal regionals i didn't have that much time so you know you have to kind of judge how to use your time and you know see whether it's worthwhile to start talking about that sort of stuff and you know part of it also is that you don't necessarily know when the players are going to press start when they're going to go back in and you don't want to have any rules about that like that's to it should be totally up to the players as to when that happens so from commentary perspective, it's a little bit of a of a wild card, but anyway, a little bit of rambling there. Let's move on. Like you said, Xiao wow, has nice. been looking very, very strong. Well, it was nice. Well, it was nice. The Dragon Punch, why? Why was it nice? Because he's done that a bunch of times, you know. He's done he's done Dragon Punch there. It, it worked this time, but, like, he's also run into just regular Fireball, so... <laughs> You know, again, pro it's probably not practical to think that you can get rid of all of those little vapid sort of useless words. And I, and I, in fact, maybe it's not even desirable. Maybe it, I'm just rambling now. Maybe it's useful to occasionally have just some little trope that you can go back to while you're catching your thoughts. Uh, I mean, I think that that's what it is anyway, but... Maybe maybe there maybe that serves a, a purpose. So I, I don't know. I'll think about that a little bit. Strong this whole weekend. Yep. So that could be a, a big confidence booster for him because yeah, Filipino man so. Filipino man won those first two games very dominant. And to feel like maybe you figured something out is is it's a huge confidence booster. Yeah. Well, that was a good point. So uh, that James just made and. I think that I, I wanted to make a point in that time about something that was going on in the game, but I recognized that I thought that the point that James was probably going for was probably worth it. You know, probably not good to cut him off or, or talk over him there. So uh, that was that was good. Yeah, again, a very good job from him being brave and just blocking those, you know? He's reading that and a great whip punish. Didn't have the meter for the FADC, unfortunately. Side okay. Kick, yep. Makes the anti-air a little hard. Ooh, oh, he so through there. That's pretty much it. We'll see what Xiao Hai does. Yeah. yeah. Not much he can do. I think he was gonna try to quick rise and back dash or something. Just didn't work. That was fine, I guess. Yeah. I love that mobility there from Filipino man. It just makes it tough for a character like Evil Ryu 
to find where to be. Evil Ryu wants to be at crouch medium kick range. Maybe stand medium kick range. But that's hard to do against Filipino Man Rose. So in that kind of a situation, when you notice before that little uh, discussion that I had, there were, I don't know, 10 seconds or something where neither of us talked. And it's, it sounds weird, but the longer you go without saying something, the harder it is to jump back in. And I notice that other people deal with this in different ways. Like some people will say, all right, you know, just sort of like get themselves back into it. And some people will say, okay. And some people will, so like some people just have phrases that they go to, like, oh, clever throw, you know, just, it's like a, it's like a thing that they, I feel like they use to sort of get back into it. Um, and, and I do the same, you know, I think we all do it. Ideally, I think you just sort of go, you just sort of launch into something. You know, you have some point, you have you, some, some moment that you want to point out or, or something to accentuate. But, uh, which I which I did. Which I, anyway, that's why I brought it up. But I just, I wanted to mention that it was, it's not always easy to, to hop back in after letting the commentary go for a little bit, after letting the, the sort of air go empty for a little while. And uh, and so if you, if you're watching some stream and you, and you do notice somebody sort of not talking that much and then jumping, trying to jump back in with, with something small, I feel like that's why. So, anyway. Oh, beautiful stuff. He had been just absorbing them. Shao Hai wasn't even thinking about him getting reflected. I thought that was all right from James. Like he, so he started out with beautiful stuff, which again is one of these things that's just not, you know, like you're not doing anything there. But I think he probably recognized it and was like, oh, I should expand on this, and and he did. So hey, all right. Wow, back dash to the stomp. Look at this activity from Filipino. Okay, yeah. great read. Yeah, Shao Hai has seen back dash forward dash a couple times now. This time he takes advantage. That was good. So I was saying something else that I that probably didn't need to be, need to be mentioned. Something about, about about movement, whatever. But I recognized that it was not as important as like whatever was happening after that. So I cut it short, which is good. That's good. You, you have to do that. Nice. Rose's back dash in that situation, chasing down with a fireball. Ooh. Oh, again, match point, Filipino man. They're staring it down. Oh, oh that's just no super. no super. Why no super? I don't know. I don't know, he might pay for it! I gotta just think it was an error. Yeah. But here comes Shao Hai now with the chance to take the round. Looks like he might. Remember, EX through. Still has an, op an opportunity for, for Filipino man. Oh, Ooh. dashed in. Risky tech considering close medium kick. Oh! And Shao Hai's gonna live. And after all that meter spent from Filipino man, he really wanted that win, you can tell. And that means Shao Hai could smell blood because Filipino man may be losing a little confidence. Like, I need to win this round. So he spent all that meter. Now Shao Hai, if he just plays very calm right now, might be able to take this. He might be right. So I, I let that play for a little bit because I, I thought a lot of it was good, but part of it was not. Let me see if I can find this moment. Yeah, it was a little bit before, before here. You know, I did mention that uh, I stutter pretty often in regular, in like regular. I was gonna say regular life, but like just when I'm talking to folks, I, I tend to do that. So. But here comes Shao Hai now with the chance to take the round. Looks like he might. Remember, ex through still has an, op an opportunity for, for uh, Filipino uh, man. Uh, oh, uh, dash. oh man! I, I remember, I remember that moment where I was like, oh, why can't I say Filipino man? No, and I, uh, you know. Um. <laughs> so, but other than that, that was good. I thought, I thought. I felt like our, our reactions to the situations were good there. We didn't know everything, like that, which is a problem. Oh, well, you, know, you can't know everything. But, but uh, we didn't know that when Rose has Ultra 2 up, she can't do Super. You know, So um, that's why we were all confused about it. If we had known, we would have dealt with the situation better, I think. Um, you know, because knowing stuff is not just useful for, like, in the absolute sense of, like, you know, being right and... and not getting stuff wrong, but uh, it's also useful to because if you do get stuff wrong, it's not it's again it's not just that one factoid. It like that influences how you commentate the rest of that round. Now now I'm like, what happened? You know, like I that was bizarre to me. So is he falling apart? Like what happened? If I had known that it was just a misplacement of the orbs, I would have said that, and I felt like I I feel like I would have been a little bit more concrete in how I would have dealt with uh, the rest of that round. 
So, uh, yeah, anyway. In. Risky tech considering close medium kick. Oh! And Shanghai is going to live. And after all that meter spent from Filipino man, he really wanted that win, you can tell. And that means Shanghai could smell blood because Filipino man may be losing a little confidence. Like, I need to win this round. So he spent all that meter. Now Shanghai, if he just plays very calm right now, might be able to take this. He might be right. Uh, excuse me, James. I think you mean calmly. Yeah, you do see him. That is to say, Shaohai. See how he's going in a little bit harder at those right. ranges? So one thing that, I, that I, I have problems with, and a lot of commentators have problems with, really, is lack of specificity when, when it comes to who we're talking about. We'll say he or she, and it's oftentimes it's not that clear. Um, especially if it's like, you know, here's Rose, right? So if we say she, probably talking about Rose, Filipino man. But... If it's if it's two male characters, or if it's two female characters, or if one of the players is is female, one is male, you know, and their characters are different, then then it's um, it can be hard to know what we're talking about. I think if we're not if we're not uh, clearer. So I noticed that I said he, and that is not that's not like very specific. So I I corrected it, but uh, that would have been better to just not have said he in the first place. Just say who I'm talking about. Yeah, it's something I'm trying to get better at. I He's like a shark. that. He smells blood. Yeah, I think so. Any any settling down. Oh boy, yeah, that was perfectly placed for Shao Hai. Not a good look right now for Filipino man. Smart. So that was another instance of me trying to say something else, but realizing that it was not as important, which I, I think was good. I don't remember what I was trying to say, but whatever it was, it it was not as important as the fact that Filipino man misplaced the spiral and got punished and died for it. You know, so. Just goes for the chip and takes it. Evil Ryu wins. Oh, she can't super when she has ultra, huh? <laughs> yeah, I just found out via Twitter, right? So, like I said, Twitter is valuable. I just can't, I can't like be on it too much. It's like it's just like in re in real work, right? Like, I bet I bet a lot of us fall into that pit where. You have stuff to do, like even like right now, like in, like this immediate moment, you have stuff you should be doing. But uh, let's see what's on Twitter. You know, eh, got to get better at that. That's so. Is that true? Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. But it, it is really important just to expand on that just a little bit. It is really important, I think, to correct yourself once you find out that you've been wrong. Um, it's not. It's not a good look to. To not bring it up because it, my my rightness is not that important. Like it's not nobody cares if like I sort of don't correct myself. Um, it's more valuable to I think let people know what was up than to uh, than to like sort of just ignore the situation and pretend like oh yeah you know I, I don't know we'll just move on we'll move on. I I feel like it's better to uh, to address it. So. How long will this go on? All right, so Shaohai has tied it up. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, you see how we didn't talk for a little while, and how does James pop back in? It's with all right. It it's very common. It's very common, and it's hard to not do it. But um, you know, to his credit, he he does talk about something else like immediately after. But but that is oftentimes how you come back from not having talked for a little bit. Uh, all right, shout outs to. Uh, Fire trucks driving by. I live in LA. That happens. You know, man needs to settle down. Shaohai just needs to keep doing what he's been doing for these last couple of games. Ooh, trade combo, and yeah, it's close oh, enough. Oh boy, you can really feel the nerves. I think on Filipino man's side. I just want to mention this while I'm thinking about it. I really like how James messes with his voice. Like you notice how when he when he has something that's like hype or 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 not serious, like. Something uh, significant is is happening. Something exciting. A lot of stuff. He'll he'll play with how his voice sounds a little bit. Like he'll sort of add a crunchiness to the C's. Like oh cripes, right? Like he'll not that he says cripes ever in his life, but he'll he'll add that, right? I think that's good. I think that's good. I I would like to do that a little bit more. Building meter gets the overhead. First overhead of the set. Okay. okay he's gonna so right there, I noticed that James did. He sort of had the same. Oh, 
again, I got to find a better word, the same musicality to his sentences. And I wanted to pop in and say whatever I said. I don't even remember now. Say whatever I said, but sort of have some, have a different ending to it, you know? Mm. I just, I, I don't even know if it, that that even matters. Get some good damage off of But, uh, I don't know, whatever. This orb, orb, grab. All right, what's the mix up now? Oh no, bad distancing on that jump. Just like that, it is match point, Shao Hai. So that's part of what I'm talking about with how James messes with his voice. I really like how he reacted to that. I thought that was really good. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. All right. All right. We're seeing a little bit more mobility out of Shao Hai as well. A little bit more dashing. Okay. All right. No, but I thought uh, when I saw that we weren't talking, I don't remember this particular situation. When I saw that we were, when I heard that we weren't talking, I just I kept trying to say like, "Oh wait, all right, when when are we gonna hop in with all right or okay, something like that," as I've been talking about. But I actually had something bigger to say, so that was cool. Certainly playing better preemptively when it comes to when Filipino Man is going to dash in himself. There we go. Big damage now from Shao Hai. Oh, he missed it, but he gets the throw. Filipino Man with no punish and then an empty jump oh, in the no. stun. Just the complete... Oh, the complete that destruction. Is, yeah. yeah, all the way back. I don't know how I handled that. Um, so, I, 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 I try not to be biased. And I try... If I notice myself seeming to sort of support one side or the other which you can tell right if so for example there i said oh no if i were for shao hai i would have been like yes right you know just something that was is like that so i try not to do that as much but um i, I think it came through there so that was not great because uh, i was disappointed for filipino man he was he has he had match point a couple of times and he gave it up. And you could really see when he gave it up in that round where he used all of his bar. He was just, like, panicking. Um, so I was a little bit sad for him. And and that came through. You know, I feel like that was a really exciting set and that I didn't punctuate it in the way that it probably deserved, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, you can't, you can't get them all. I mean, there were... There were some moments in this top eight where I thought that we did do that well. And even in that set where I thought we did that well. But at the end of it, to sort of wrap it up, I think that you need a little bit more than what I gave it. But let's let's hear if there's anything else. I don't remember. Let's see. Nerves from Filipino man. Like I said, as soon as he spent all that meter on that round, I feel like that yeah. was too much of a tell. Yeah, I hear That was you. too much of a tell from Filipino man where he, it just looked like he was like, I need to win this round now because I don't feel like I can win this. And when he spent all that meter to try to win that one round instead of saving it for the third round, I think Xiao Hai got a good read on that because you could see all of a sudden Xiao Hai just got super aggressive. I think you are correct. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? What stupid thing? <laughs> Why would I say that? I didn't add anything. And you can even see before that, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> right? You see it on my face. Oh, that could have been a lot better at the end there. Um, there I just picked this match randomly, by the way. I didn't, like, go through it in advance. I, I literally, like, went to Capcom Fighters, and I was like, okay, where was where's SCR? And then I got the video, and it was I didn't look at it in advance. So, um, I wasn't trying to, like, point out one that I thought I made more or, or fewer errors in. But uh, anyway, so this is this is how I watch when I when I listen to myself. This is sort of what I'm thinking, you know, moments where and, I, and it's not like I'm pausing it in the same way that I was here. I was, you know, I'm, obviously I'm recording, so I'm not usually pausing it in this way. But I am often thinking the things that I have been talking about, and it's something that I think about whenever I listen to a stream, you know. Um, so you, you know you know how when you're when you play. A fighting game a lot you play a character a lot and you see somebody do something where like you understand why they made that choice you know or or what the mistake is like say if somebody 
somebody just screws up a motion that comes out as like quarter circle forward rather than dragon punch and you know that because that's happened to you you like you've been there you know you've made that execution error and so you get it and you're sort of sympathize um that's that's how i feel when i when i'm watching commentary a lot of the time because i've i've been in those situations and so i know or at least i think i know why people react in sort of the ways that they do uh certainly i mean i you know i remember myself so i'm just critiquing myself mostly here and uh i have a pretty good idea of what it was going through my head even if i don't remember the particular situation you know i i pretty much know how i operate so um i know that but it it is it is how i'm thinking or what i'm thinking about whenever i watch streams uh just to to see how different people deal with it so like for example in in watching somebody else play your character you you want to see hey how do they react to that missed execution or how do they react to the situation that i've been in a million times do they have better ideas than i do you know so that's what i do on commentary too i look for things that people might have that uh that are better than what I'm currently doing. And then I'll try to, like, I can't, it's so, so hard to go into the lab in the same way for commentary. You sort of just have to remember it when it comes to the next time. But um, I, that is something I try to do. So, for example, how you know, I'm talking about how James does things with his voice. I think he does that better than I do. I think he does that better than almost anybody, in fact, in fighting game commentary. And that's something that I would like to, to do more. Maybe not to, like, the same degree, because I don't want to bite his style. But... It's something. It's something that I could pick up. I think a little bit more. And at the same time, when I, when I watch other commentators, I also get ideas about things that I think I should not be doing. Even people who I think are good make mistakes. I make mistakes. You know, uh, everybody makes mistakes. So you you see how they react to situations, and if you think it's a mistake, then you say, okay, have I ever done that? You know, do I do this? I often find that I do do it. You know, so if one of the things that I was talking about was. How when when there are when there's a lull in commentary, how do you recover from it? And like I said, a lot of people just say all right or okay or they have some little thing that gets them back into it. And that I always used to do that, and I didn't even realize it until I was listening to somebody else, and I heard them do the same thing, and I was like, oh, that doesn't sound too good. I have to I have to change. So I'm trying to, and I'm not 100% on it, but it is something that I'm trying to improve on. Anyway, that was my little take. How long did this even last? A while, I think, right? So that, that's, that's my commentary on my commentary. And I, this has actually been quite helpful to me, um, to be honest. So uh, I think I will do this more if uh, people are interested. All right? All right.